cutthroat. All and right. this is gonna be a unique one because it's three v three v three action. That's so what I saw in the multiplayer trailer, the three teams. I, re I, I remember it now, because I remember hearing about this. I'm so excited to see how it works though. We are getting gunfight though, right? Or is this replacing it? Better not fucking replace gunfight, I swear to God. One life to live mode, it's very fun. You can regen your down teammates though if you see yeah, so you one got of your the revives. Get down. Yeah, you can go over there and revive them. Okay. That's a fun little way to uh, you know come back after. That'll that'll what, what mix it up a little bit. Want to make this mode? Why so it is one life, so it's pretty much like it. a three-way gunfight. Okay, so I assume that gunfight's gonna stay in the game, and it better because that's my like favorite mode in Mono Warfare 2. And you can take your loadout this time. So, yes, yeah, that's so what I was gonna say. Yeah, right. uh, unlike gunfight. Oh, you can take your loadout as well. Okay. So it's like a mixture of like. That's right. It's a mixture of face-off and gunfight, but <laughs> with three teams. Okay, here it is. Dr. Lupo, here he is on cutthroat. The capture point at the end is already there. Yeah, the overtime mechanic. Okay. So yeah, just like gunfight, they have the flag for overtime. That's going to be so hectic, though. When it comes to like a three-way gunfight with the flag. So they can go and capture that flag. So it's like you know. Just like gunfight is gonna is it even going to be worth going for the flag at that point? So there's one team so that's literally one off of winning the entire thing, so it's like first the three. Really like intense it is, it's, moments, it's right? very intimate. I cannot uh, imagine the stress like this where when all three teams have two like wins and it's like the next team like wins the whole thing. Um, really that like last round has got to be so fucking stressful. Seems like they give you plenty of time for the flag to pop. Preacher drone. Okay. That's what that is. Good strat. Yeah, we have the EM, we EMD yeah. grenade, which okay. is great in this situation. Right. You just throw it out, the the it, flag still captures fast as fuck. They're going to show up constantly on your mini map so, for your entire team. So it's, it's huh. the EMD grenade a little bit like a snapshot. With there being three teams all playing flag and it goes that, that quick, that is going to be so interesting to see. To and it's teams of three, too. Either. That's so very, interesting. Very I'm so, like, yeah. intrigued by this mode. Because as, like, a... Not necessarily a gunfight main, but like ever since gunfight came out, that was like one of my main modes that I just always play. Um, like I play regularly. This is very interesting. FAL. Oh my god, the FAL looks like it fucking packs a punch. Jesus. Oh, we got a collapse. And here's the revive. Looks like they're gonna win this round. 3v2. Okay, here's one to Favela. Oh, yeah. I love this map. Oh, it's really like, big maps Adam. for these. Today? Yeah. For these. I have to go with I just, so it seems like Cutthroat is on normal maps, it seems. Uh, I hope that it's yeah. limited, though, because once we get to, like, the bigger maps, like, um... I don't know, maybe it could work on Wasteland, but I don't know. But, like, I, don't, I wonder how it'll flow on the bigger maps. But I feel like on the smaller maps, like, if you get, like, Rust, like, oh my god, please tell me Rust is in this. That'll be so hectic. That wasn't necessarily there before. So yeah, that's a free that. kill. Nice. Yeah. Am I, I missing something, or does Chica play Fortnite? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. possible we, we Not like questioning why she's it. here. Yeah. Like I mean, yeah. uh, okay. clearly she was invited, but There's did she like make a switch to COD that like I didn't know about? Has, has, like, has she yeah, always played COD? Because I could have swore she was like known for Fortnite. Because I know there's a lot of like controversy with the people that they fucking invite to these events compared to the people that aren't invited. Like there's a lot of people here that. No offense, like it's not always about that, but like there's there's a lot of people that literally nobody knows, and. But yet, like, prime example, Karma, uh, one of the greatest pro Call of Duty players of all time, still, I think, has yet to be invited to one of these events. But, like, Skump and all, like, other pro players are being invited. Like, it just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I should have been invited. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, Korean Savage is there? Ocean Ops, Korean Savage, and Raid Away is a wild team. That is insane. Like, bro, give me Korean Savage's uh, fucking point of view. He used to be an insane pub stomper. I think he switched to Warzone. That's why I say used to. Okay, ground war maps. I don't know why we're talking about this when we're trying to see Cutthroat. Okay, 2v1. Oh, he's about to clutch. Who is it? It's right away. Right away is about to clutch. 1v2. That is not a door you can use, bud. <laughs> oh, he's going to hot flag. Oh. Gunfight. It is awesome. Oh. Damn. I don't know. Cutthroat seems very interesting. I, I, I really do like the idea. I'm very excited to play this. Mr. Dalek. Dalek? I don't know how to say his name. Zombies player here. 
like, I saw what is that dude trying to do with the fuck? Yeah. Oh, assassination. Oh. Really cool tank on screen that was just yeah. causing utter mayhem. Damn, so that's, that's pain. Oh my god. Yo, very, uh, game chat. The shit talk at the end of each round in, in Cutthroat. Can you imagine three-way teams? It's going to be a three-way argument. It's going to be insane. Oh, I'm so excited for that. If everyone's talking, of course. Oh, this is a new site. So, a lot of the sites that I've seen in the gameplay today have looked so good. They have looked so good. I've seen one that like kind of looks like the Monocle site, but not really like that one site from, um, I think the Aperture site from uh, COD World at War. There was a site that kind of looked like that, but not quite. Um, but it had that similar style. And just I've seen so many different like red dot sites. There's the ELO site from like BO3 and IW is coming back. Fucking Slate Reflector, which is my, like one of my favorite red dot sites of all time from Vanguard. Yeah, it's coming back. There's been so many good, uh, right, well, like, red I'm, dot sites. All right, well, I mean, yeah, Cutthroat looks very cool. Um, I'm so excited to play it. I, I don't know if it, I don't think it's in the beta, unfortunately, but as soon as that's out of launch, oh, I'm going to be playing it for sure. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about Cutthroat down in the comments below. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.